Now let's look at the 2012 Super Bowl halftime show. This is Madonna. When you are in the industry, you're in the industry for life, and they bring you back for all of this this uh, uh, national, international uh, stage. Here's Anderson Cooper. She says that the Super Bowl, and you can look this up on Anderson Cooper, the Super Bowl, she's going to have church at the Super Bowl, and that the Super Bowl is the Holy of Holies. And so she is having church, and that is exactly what they do. They have church for their religion right on stage for you on global television, and you have no clue that it is church for you because you follow this. Here is Madonna's logo, the X and the wings. We'll see that later. The reference to Rome and Egypt, all of these elite kingdoms that we understand in the Bible already. Give, uh, Givenchy, uh, which designed the costumes for her, the houses of fashion are all owned by the elite. You can see now the winged uh, elements to her dress. She is on the chariot here. You can see the chariot in the tarot card and in this tarot card with the woman riding the chariot. You see the connotations. All of these mystery religions are interconnected. Now she's in her second outfit. There's the outfit itself. This is Anubis at the top. She's dressed in a Roman style uh, costume. Now you can see clearly that that crown is an Anubis type crown. There's the Egyptian Ankh, God of the Dead. Now Mercury here is represented with the harp. There's other gods represented. Mercury now stole this, I believe, from, oh, I can't, Apollo, I believe. And so you see Hermes, Hermes, which is a French fashion house, and then Nero depicted in a film with the harp. Their religion is a single religion stemming all the way back to Babylon. Here's the three-horned can uh, look that up as well. Now this is key as an image. At the end of this segment she freezes and gives the as above so below sign. She also does this strange thing with her fingers and you're gonna see that shortly. Now here is the as above so below. You can see how clear that is. Are you a mason? And You see the fingers now in the center joined. They can't always do it exactly. Macy's now 150. We can see now an interpret fashion on this level. As above so below, as above male aspect. And he is naked here as so below, female aspect. And she is naked here. She is the mannequin. They can't have pornography on there, so they put the mannequin on there. This is appropriate for Macy's because it's a Macy's uh, uh, department store. And then we have Christina Aguilera here playing the hybrid of the male and female. Black and white dress. She's doing as above, so below. And the sexual connotation with Freemasonry and that symbol in the center. Very basic if you understand what symbology is and how they play it. Otherwise, this is just, oh gosh, it's just weird fashion. Interesting. Now you can see these are no coincidences. Closing or blinking of the eye. Here's the sign of Baphomet or the horned hand. Now collaborating with the new artists and the new puppets, Nicki Minaj. I forget her name, but she does the vulgar vulgarity. Now in the last segment, this is the segment on like a prayer, and if you understand the lyrics of that, that is praying to Satan in the midnight hour. I can feel your power. She's dressed now in the third outfit of Givenchy, which is the high priestess, all in black. This is a black mass 
in your face. You can see the light emanating here on stage. Now she is joined by this man. He's, uh, I think that's his X Factor. I'm not sure what his name is. But now they're holding this black mass. You can see that. They get raised up on stage. And now you can see the logo, what the logo represents here. This is the X of Osiris, Isis, Horus, X, also representative of the sun, and the wings of the M. So that is the sun disk with wings. And you can see that because in the same segment, they show you the winged disk of Egypt. There it is. And this is the X or the cross and the winged disk of Egypt here. This is Isis with the X. You can see that they cross the arms this way. Now moving on with the diamond shape, which represents enlightenment or the elite as well. Both connotations in spiritual uh, enlightenment. You see the diamond here. There's a brand called with diamond... Uh, uh, diamond Company, I believe that's what it's called. Then we have the triangle up, triangle down, black and white. Dualism going on. Vogue in this segment. V-O-G-U-E off screen. And of course G happens to be in the center. G, the generative principle of the sex act. And you see the single eye symbolism with the uh, lips of red, sexual connotations. And what do we see here? The owl of Minerva hidden up above. You see the owl here. Here's the two eyes. Here are the horn elements of the uh, bird and then the wings. The owl of Minerva there and then your feet as well. Single eye symbolism. Again, all of the symbols being represented. And what do we have at the end? World peace. This is what they want to show you that they are after world peace, but how they work is chaos and war, perpetrating chaos and war to bring about a new system, and you are going to be crying and screaming for world peace in this case. And what do they do? They attack religion and say religion is the cause of the division of the people. We need to move together. A humanistic view is this. A biblical view is to understand that all of this is prophecy and these evil people are behind this uh, whole New World Order push. They manipulate you. Look at the bird, the phoenix. And this is cleverly done because the uniforms themselves have white on the middle. And when they, the light emanates from underneath, it looks very three-dimensional. So that is clever. They are creative in that sense. Here's the bird again and world peace. The bird rising, the fire bird, the phoenix, ashing, uh, that is their occult uh, uh, resurrection symbol, and is the bird uh, coming from the ashes, the bird, the earth now, the fallen earth going to be reborn in the occult realm. Now we have the women appropriately wearing phoenixes with the pearl. In our state, Hawaii, you see the phoenix. You understand that these states and this nation and all of these nations have their foundations in the occult. And so you have the Mithraic hat, which is a red hat, and other uh, seals, but you see the phoenix there.